moving at most staying a year, but usually we moved every few months. Most of the apartments and neighborhoods blend together, but one, it, but one in particular stands out, Viking Village in North St. Paul. You guys remember Viking Village? I bet you guys do, it was by your house. Not far from it anyway. We were there maybe a year. So much happened in that short time that grounded me and who I am today. My parents had split up by then, and my mom took me and my brother Chris to the Viking Village apartment complex right by the highway. We spent hours with other kids running around the neighborhood. Behind the target that was just down the hill was an open storm drain. We'd have our flashlights and go down in that tunnel. We'd walk all the way under target, take a right and go beneath the parking lot across the street until we came out at the Tom Thumb store. In the tunnel, it was all black and terrifying and thrilling. I could only hope we'd make it to the end without any water coming through. I'd also walk down to the local Old Country Buffet and sneak in and eat for free. I would take a bunch of chicken wings, wrap them in napkins, and shove them in my pockets. Then I'd go to the movie theater and sneak into a movie. I'd sit there all afternoon watching movies and eating chicken wings. I'd throw the bones under the seat when it was done and go home back to Viking Village. I'd also go to the fancy Ramada Inn Hotel down the street and walk in like I was staying there. I'd use the sauna, the jacuzzi, I'd even jump in the pool. Nobody ever said anything to me about it. It was, it was a great spa, spa break. We explored the nearby woods too. It's funny to me today that in the middle of a big city I learned to love the forest. We'd hang out in, at an old tree fort built years earlier. There was also an abandoned house with a caved-in garage with all kinds of stuff to find. We were mucking around in there one day and uncovered a smooshed Model T car. I'd never seen anything like it. For somebody like me who loved vehicles and puzzles, it was a major find. I pulled it apart and put it back together, studying the way it was, the way it was built and how all the parts fit together. I considered in a way, I considered it in a way only a kid with plenty of free time in the woods can do. It was a great early training for the career I would stumble upon later. 